first graders. We are doing Saxon Phonics Lesson 117 today, which just to warn you is one of my favorites, and I'll tell you why a little bit later. But first, will you do the vowel song with me that we did in yesterday's lesson? I just wanna see if you remember it, because again, the vowels are going to be very important in today's lesson. It was where we patted either our legs or our hips, and we said, do you know the vowel song? Do you remember that? Okay, let's try it together, starting on our hips, ready? Do you know the vowel song, the vowel song, the vowel song? Do you know the vowel song, A-E-I-O-U? Now, I didn't tell you this yesterday, but the second part of that song is that you do that again, but when you get to the vowel part, you do it a little bit faster, like this. A-E-I-O-U. It's like crazy fast. If you can't do it with your fingers, that's okay. You could just sing it. But let's try it this time just a little bit faster starting, do you know? Ready? Do you know the vowel song, the vowel song, the vowel song? Do you know the vowel song? A-E-I-O-U. That is so fast every time. Okay, let's do our letter deck. And I think today I'm going to retire some of the cards, which means I'll put them in a different deck and we will only do them once a week from now on because you're starting to be pretty good at a lot of these. Okay, start with the one we just learned, trigraph TCH. Ready? Trigraph TCH, ghost digraph KN, ghost digraph GN, ghost digraph WR, digraph PH, digraph EY, diphthong OU, digraph UE, digraph OA, Combination U R. Keep going. Digraph A U. Diphthong digraph O W. Combination E R. Ready? Vowel Y. Digraph A W. Digraph E A. Digraph C H. Combination O R. Combination A R. Final syllable, T-I-O-N. Combination, I-R. Man, you guys know a lot of these. Diphthong, O-I. Diphthong, O-Y. G. Trigraph, T-C-H. Nice job. Okay, so we got rid of hmm, five or six cards, which is great. And now, let's do the same thing with our picture deck. If there's any in here that I think you know really well, I'll just retire them, starting on patch, ch. Ready? Patch, ch. Not, n, nat, n. Wreath, r, phone. Key, e, soap, o. Faucet, ah, straw, ah. Mouse, ow. Cow, ow. Butter, er. Good. Star, r. Cry, i. Candy, E, horse, or, bird, er, turtle, er. Get rid of some of those. Keep going. Lotion, shun, circle, s, bow, o, leaf, E, thread, e, steak, a, banana, a, oil, oi, toy, oi, glue, oo. Keep going. Giraffe, j, patch, Nice work, okay. Wow, so again, we got rid of five or six of those. That's great. Good work. Okay, and let's come to our suffixes, starting suffix less, ready? Suffix less, suffix lee, suffix s, z, suffix t, d, ed, suffix ing, suffix ness, suffix es, suffix e, suffix less, you got it. Okay, what we're going to do next are the spelling sounds. If you've been watching these videos, I think you're probably already really good at this. But in case you haven't been watching these videos, here's how easy it is. I point at my mouth, I say the sound. I point to you, you echo the sound. I hold out my hand and you tell me which letters make that sound or those sounds. And then we write it on our worksheet. Okay, so actually, 
We were supposed to do kind of easy spelling sounds today, but I feel like you've been doing so well lately that maybe we could handle some harder ones. So I'm gonna do a little bit harder ones. Dun, dun, dun. Ready? Okay. Number one. Mm. V, final, V, E. And then you write it. Some of you are so good at this. Number two. F, final, F, F. Good. Number three. Shh. Digraph, S, H. Number four. Or, combination, O, R. Number five. O, O, consonant E, comma, O, final, digraph, O, W. Number six, A, A, consonant E, comma, A, final, Digraph A Y. Number seven. I. I consonant E, comma, I final vowel Y. Number eight, oi, diphthong, O-I, final diphthong, O-Y. Number nine, ow, diphthong, O-U, final diphthong, O-W. And our last one is a new one. It's the one we just learned yesterday. See if you remember it. Number 10. Ch. Digraph CH, final digraph CH, comma, trigraph TCH. You got it. Woo! That is like a lot of words. Okay. Uh, since we just did the spelling sound for ch, ch ch by number 11, I want you to see if you remember the rule and spell the word notch. What word? Notch. And I did put our sign up over here. Kind of far away. If you want to look, how do we spell notch? Think about is that a short vowel or something else? Okay, would you spell Notch starting N. Ready? N O T C H. We should have had T C H after short vowel O. Nice job. Number 12. Hmm. We haven't used digraph E A says A in a long time, so I want to do a word with E A says A. Spell for me the word great. What word? Great. Using E A says A in great. Okay, will you spell it for me, starting G, ready? G, R, E, A, T. You got it, love it. Okay, if you have a pencil, you're welcome to park it. And I want you to look up here. I have three words on the board that all end the same way. And I want you to listen what's the sound the same at the end of each of these words. My turn first. Fudge. Badge, edge. Did you hear it? What sound was the same at the end of? Fudge, badge, edge. Three times the sound was j, j, j. You got it, it was the j sound. And actually, 
I know what cash would say. If cash were in my class, remember cash, my first grader from a few years ago? If I were to say to him, cash, do you know how to spell fudge? Like I ate some chocolate fudge. He would say, oh yeah, Miss Smith, that's easy. And he would go like this. Uh, j, 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 j. Mm -mm -mm -mm. No way, Jose, because words in English cannot end in a letter J. J is one of those scaredy cat letters that doesn't like to be alone at the end of a word. Ah, save me, save me. So that's not how we would spell it. Instead, there are three letters that we are using at the end of each of these words to say J, J, J. Will you tell me the letters if you think you know what they are starting on D? Ready? D, G, E, D, G, E, D, G, E. Nice job. D, G, E is another new trigraph. Who heard it? It's another new trigraph. And remember, a trigraph is when we have one, two, three letters that come together and make one sound. Will you say that with me starting a trigraph is? Ready? A trigraph is three letters that come together and make one sound. You got it. So in trigraph DGE, it goes like this. We say D, G, E, J, and it's super fast. You just make one J sound. Can we try it starting on D? Ready? D, G, E, J. Nice job. Okay. Some of you are saying, yeah, but how do we code trigraph DGE? Guess what? This is actually like one of my favorite, favorite trigraphs to code of all time because you get to do something to every single letter. First of all, we're going to underline the trigraph to show that all those letters go together. So I say underline the trigraph. I don't hear the D or the E, so I'm going to say cross out the D and E. Will you do that with me? Ready? Cross out the D and E, and then my favorite part is called J dot the G. Will you say it with me? J dot the G. And I just put a little J dot above the G to show that it makes the J sound J, J, J. So I could do it slow and say, underline the trigraph, cross out the D and E, J dot the G. But that takes kind of a long time. So what I like to say instead is just underline, cross out, cross out, J dot. Can you try it with me? Ready? Underline, cross out, cross out, J dot. Ah, can we try it in a word now? Ready? Underline, cross out, cross out, J dot. One more. Underline, cross out, cross out, J dot. And that is how I code trigraph DGE. Oh, and this is bugging me because this is not how we spell fudge. I think I better just get rid of it. But now fudge is spelled and coded correctly up here. And by the way, that's why trigraph DGE is one of my favorite lessons because I love to eat chocolate fudge. It's like one of my favorite foods. Badge is also spelled correctly like a police officer might wear a badge to tell who he or she is. An edge is correct, like I walk up to the edge of something and there's a drop. But now look at these words. I want these words to also end in the same sound. My turn first, echo me. Bulge, hinge, cage. Did you hear it? I still want them to end in j, j, j. But I can't use trigraph DGE down here, and let me tell you why. Did you notice up here on fudge, badge, edge, there is something in common about each of those vowels. Will you show me with your hand if you know what's the same about them? Fa, a, edge, ba, a, edge, e, e, edge, you got it. Those are short vowels. Ooh, did you know it? Those are short vowels. Code it with the breathe, breathe, breathe. But if you'll notice down here, these are not short vowels. This letter L uh, is a consonant. This letter N, 
consonant, this letter A in K-A-H is a long vowel. So here's going to be the rule. Ready? We only use D-G-E to say J after a short vowel. For anything else, if I want to say J, 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 I have to use the letters G-E. Will you say it with me? I have to use the letters G-E, G-E, G-E. You got it. I have to use G-E. And you might remember now that G in front of E says J, J, J. Remember that? We learned that a few days ago. So I'm going to give it a J dot, but I'm also going to cross out the E because I don't hear it. So I'm just going to say J dot cross out. Will you do it with me? Ready? J dot cross out, J dot cross out, J dot cross out. You got it. And now bulge is spelled correctly. A bulge is like a bump. Hinge is spelled correctly. A hinge is a tool on which something moves, like a door. Cage is spelled correctly, like a cage where you might keep a little gerbil or something. And you probably know I made you a sign. What, Miss Smith, another sign? How come you're so nice to us? I don't know, because I love you so. This is what it looks like. It reminds us that after a short vowel, we spell the just sound D-G-E. Underline, cross out, cross out, J dot. After a long vowel or a consonant, long vowel like in cage or a consonant like in hinge or bulge, we use plain old G-E. You got it. So I'm going, hey, what I just noticed? Did you see what I saw? After these short vowels, we have trigraphs in both of them. Short vowel TCH says ch. Short vowel DGE says j. Oh my goodness, I'm beginning to think trigraphs love short vowels. Okay, so I'm going to leave these up so that you can see them. Actually, I'll just leave up the DGE one. And let's get out a whiteboard or a piece of paper or something on which we can practice using DGE and GE. And I'll put this right here for now. Okay, on our whiteboard, the first word I want you to spell is a word that means if you gently bump into somebody. Spell for me the word nudge. What word? Nudge. You can look at our sign if you need to. What letters would say j, j, j after that short vowel u? Okay, and let's check it. You should have spelled nudge and you D G E after the short vowel, trigraph D G E. And I hope you remembered to code it too. Underline, cross out, cross out, J dot, breathe above the U. That's all you have to do for nudge. E race erase. Next word is a word we use every day when we look at our flag. Will you spell for me the word pledge? What word? Pledge. Ple Might want to check the sign. Is that a short vowel or a long vowel? Pledge. Okay, can we check it? Pledge should be spelled P-L-E-D-G-E, -E, trigraph D-G-E -E after the short vowel E. Underline, cross out, cross out, J dot. Oh my goodness, that is like my favorite thing to say. Erase, erase. Next word, spell for me the word stage. What word? Stage. You might wanna be so careful with your vowel. Stay, a, a, that's not a short vowel. Okay, can we check it? Stage should be spelled S-T-E-A-G-E, -E, G E after the long vowel A. And of course, I did my macron cross out, but I should probably also do my J dot to remind me it says stage. 
erase, erase. Next word rhymes with stage. It means if somebody is really, really mad, spell for me the word rage. What word? Rage. Rage. Okay, will you check it? Rage should be R-A-G-E. That was kind of easy because it rhymed with our last one. A consonant E, J dot the G. Erase, erase. And of course, you know you're fixing these if they're wrong, right? I think you already know that. But I feel like I have to remind you because I'm a teacher and that's what teachers do. Next word is a word that means if you go up to the edge of something, we would call it a ledge. What word? Ledge. Oh, eh, eh, eh. Is that a short vowel or a long vowel? Ledge. Okay, ready? Let's check ledge. Ledge should be spelled L-E-D-G-E. -E. Underline cross dot cross dot J dot. And of course I forgot my breathe above the E, but don't you know we should always code our vowels? Yeah, that's a short vowel. Next to his best friend, the trigraph. Erase, erase. Next word, oh, this is a word I hate but I'm gonna have you do it anyway, because it has to do with a sport that I don't like, that actually I might tell you a story about later. Spell for me the word dodge. What word? Dodge. Da, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Dodge. Check your Ds, make sure they're not backwards. Dodge should be spelled D-O-D-G-E. Of course, this is my short vowel, da ah odge And my trigraph, D-G-E, should be underlined and J-dotted. Dodge. By the way, the sport, in case you don't know, is called dodgeball. Just give me a thumbs up or down if you've ever heard of dodgeball. Okay, some kids have. Well, I'm telling you right now, I hate dodgeball but I'll tell you why after we do our coding section. Okay, last word. Oh, do I even dare do this? This is like a tricky, maybe third grade word? Yep, I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna try it, choppers out. Tell me the root word and suffix in badges. Root word and suffix in badges is badge as, root word is badge. Starting root word, badge. Add your suffix, make it say badge as, badge as. Okay, time's up, let's check badges. I hope you spelled root word badge, B-A-D-G-E. That's a short vowel, after short vowel we use trigraph, D-G-E, J dot the G. And then a suffix, as e wait a minute wait a minute <sighs> that ee -E together makes it look like it says badgies and i'm pretty sure we don't say oh look the police officers wear badgies <laughs> that would be way silly i think i forgot about the dropping rule do you remember it say it if you know it starting if a vowel or no if an e ready if an E comes in front of a vowel suffix, you drop it, you drop it. I should not have put that there. Oh, that makes my trigraph DGE look kind of lonely, but that's the correct way of spelling it. Will you fix it if you need to? And if not, erase, erase. And I wanna show you some new cards that we have. Our first one looks like this, and from now on, whenever you see this card, I want you to say trigraph DGE. Will you do it? Ready? Trigraph DGE. You got it. And from now on, when you see this card, uh, maybe you could guess it. It's, this is something we use to get across water. We want to go from one side of the land to the other, then we have to cross a 
Bridge, you got it. And we say bridge, j. Will you do it? Bridge, j. One more. Bridge, j. You got it. Nice job. Okay, so I'm adding those to our review decks and we will start doing those from now on. We will start doing those cards. What I want to do now is come down to the bottom by number 13. And we need to change how we've been spelling the j sound. It used to be what says j, we said j comma g. That part is still true, so let's write that first. J comma G. Still says J at the beginning of a word. In fact, here's our signs right over here. But at the end of a word, we don't just use J or G to say J. So I want you to put final, and we're going to write final trigraph D-G-E. We write it D-G-E comma, G, E, because we could use either of those at the end of a word. We could use D, G, E, or G, E. So, will you say those with me? Whole thing. I'm going to say J, you say J, and then we'll practice what says J. Number 13, my turn. J. What says J? J comma G, final trigraph, D G E comma G E. Nice job, you got it. Okay, up at the top by number 14. Let me think of a good one. Ooh, I know. Spell for me the word bridge. What word? Bridge. Thinking what says J, J, J after that short vowel and bridge. Okay, will you tell me how you spelled it? Starting B. Ready? B R I D G E. You got it. D G E after short vowel I. Number 15. Mm, should I do this one again? I think I will. Choppers out. Tell me the root word and suffix in badges. Root word suffix badges is badge as. Root word is badge. Add your suffix, make it say badge as. And you might want to think about the dropping rule. Okay, will you spell badges starting B? Ready? B A D G E S. <gasps> Thumbs up if you remember the dropping rule and you don't have two letter E's here at the end. Nice job. Guess what? I remembered two this time. Okay, number 16. Spell for me the word pledge. What word? Pledge. Okay, will you spell pledge starting P? Ready? P L E D G E. You got it. Nice work on that. Okay, let's come downstairs and we will do our coding. Sometimes you go faster than me. I know it, I know it's true, but stay right with me when we wanna do it correctly. And then afterwards, remember, I have a story to tell you about dodgeball. Oh, if I can bear to tell it. Okay, number 17, ready? Trigraph, D-G-E. Underline, cross out, cross out, J dot, breathe above the U. Will you read it with me, starting B, get ready? B, budge, what word? Budge. If you budge, it means you move just a little. 18, trigraph DGE, underline, cross out, cross out, J dot, breathe above the E. Starting H, get ready, edge, what word? Hedge, a hedge means a group of bushes, match it. 19, trigraph DGE, underline, cross out, cross out, J dot, breathe above the U. We read it starting F, get ready, edge. Uh, what word? Budge. Oh, that's my favorite word. I'm going to draw like a little heart next to that one because I just love it so much. 20, trigraph DGE. Underline, cross out, cross out, J dot, breathe. Will you start with me on J? Read it. 
J, judge. What word? Judge. You got it, judge. 21, trigraph, D-G-E. Underline, cross out, cross out, J dot. Breathe above the U. Starting SM, get ready. Smudge. What word? Smudge. A smudge means something is smeared a little bit. You can't see it as well. 22, box your suffix as. Root word, trigraph, T-C-H. Underline, cross out the T, breathe above the E. Will you start just the root word for me on S-T-R? Get ready. Stir etch whole word, stretches. You got it. Like I love to do stretches. 23, box your suffixing. Root word, E-A says E, underline, cross out, macron. Will you read just the root word first, starting L? Get ready. O, eek, whole word, leaking. You got it. And there's a picture of a leaking faucet. Match it. 24, digraph E-A says E, eh, underline, cross out, breathe above the E. Starting BR, get ready. Br Ed, what word? Bread. You got it, bread. 25, OI says oi, arc it. And then, nice and small, we're going to find a vowel pattern. OI is a vowel, E is a vowel, consonant, consonant, consonant. Will you split it after the letter T? Breathe above the E. Oh, this is a tricky word. One syllable at a time, starting OI. Get ready. Oint. Mint, what word? Ointment, you got it. Ointment is like a lotion that you would put on if you're sick. 26, box your suffix less. Root word, O-Y says oi, arc it. Will you read just the root word first, starting J, get ready. Joy, whole word, joyless, you got it. If you're joyless, you have no joy. Oh, which is what happened to me during this dodgeball game, okay. Here's what happened, check it out. When I was in fifth grade, we went to PE and my PE teacher said, good news boys and girls, today we get to play dodgeball. And all the boys were like, yes. And I said, what's dodgeball? And our teacher explained dodgeball is when you have two different sides, maybe like boys on this side and girls on this side and then there's a line down the middle and everybody gets balls, bouncy balls, that are great big made of rubber on both teams. And what you do is you try to pick up the balls and you throw it at people on the other team. And if you hit a person on the other team, then they're out and they have to go sit down. And the first team who gets everybody out loses. And I said, okay, that doesn't sound too bad. So our PE teacher told us to get into position. So the girls came to this side and the boys came to this side and she took her whistle and she said, ready? Get set, throw! And everybody picked up the balls and started throwing them so hard. And I picked one up and I threw it as hard as I could, but I missed. And I picked up another one and I threw it as hard as I could, and I missed. And no matter how hard I threw it, I just kept missing. And all of a sudden I heard someone say, Sarah, watch out! And I turned just like this in time to see a giant red ball coming right for my face and it knocked me to the ground. And I started crying and my nose started bleeding. And the worst part is that all the boys started cheering. They were like, yeah, Bo, you hit Sarah, good job, Boo! And they were so excited, even though I had a bloody nose. So after that, whenever the PE teacher said, guess what guys, today we get to play dodgeball. I went like this and I said, oh man, can you do it like I did, ready? Oh man, that's why I don't love dodgeball. But I do love trigraph DGE. So I'll see you later, bye guys. Okay, for real, bye.